It's me, Brian. Tonight, I'm debuting a new segment called Who Wore It Better? Essentially, I'm going to compare a drink that I had in a establishment or restaurant slash bar with that same drink made at home. If I have some similar ingredients, I'm going to try to replicate the drink. And if I try it, that means that I liked it in the restaurant. And I want to see if I can make it just as good or even better. For tonight's edition, I'm making a mango martini, which I had in a restaurant called Carlisle in Arlington, Virginia, a couple of weeks back. And it's a simple cocktail, it's three ingredients. It's Malibu mango uh, rum, and I have some rum here, liquor, liqueur 43, which I have right here, and a splash of pineapple. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have Malibu mango rum, is I'm going to use the rum I have right here and mix it with a little bit of mango puree and then add on the liqueur and a splash of pineapple juice. The challenge here is trying to replicate a good drink that I had in the establishment, not knowing the proportions of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna to have to guess based upon how it tasted. For this particular drink, I'm going to start with about an ounce and a half of rum. It didn't taste very um, boozy with rum, so I'm not gonna go two ounces. I'm gonna go an ounce and a half of the rum. I'm using some rum from um, from Jamaica. Then I'm going to put in the puree to give it the mango flavor. Should be good. And then I'm going to use about three quarters ounce of liqueur 43. and finish it off with a splash of pineapple. Shake and stir. Shake and strain. There you have it, a mango martini. Prost, my friends. Delicious. Delicious. Now compared to the restaurant product, I think I use a little bit too much mango, but on a scale of zero to 10, I give myself Maybe like an eight and a half, nine. I did well. Stay safe, stay sane, and I will see you on the next video.